Give me that. What the hell are you doing? Who are you? Detective McDowell. Give me the joint. What are you thinking? You do this a lot? No, ma'am. I swear this is our first time. You're right. What are your names? Chloe Lee. Jennifer Beck. Look, we we're just trying it. I swear. We'll never do it again. I used to say that when I was a kid. I meant it as much as you do. We're going to the station house to sort this out. Oh, my God. It's just wait. And it's illegal. Or now do you want to try telling me you've got a prescription for it? Let's go. Desmond Browning, Schwan Campbell, dope dealers, Crips. Nobody saw nothing. How'd you guess? The metal boy in Jones. Canvas. Bell's on her way to the house with a pickup car. What'd she hear? I just didn't hear the shot. Mr. Anderson, there's no possible way you didn't hear gunshots. Well, I did. Well, I think you're lying. He asked let everybody like this. He said there were five homicides here in the last four months. His time was cleaned up. Since when does he care? He's on a crusade. Yeah, for a great bump. Got an old CI in this building. See if I can find her. I must have had the TV out loud. Watching what? Gun smoke? You can do better than that. Excuse me, I didn't kill him. All right, thank you, sir. We're done for now. I was talking to that man. No, you were yelling at him. He was lying to get out and cooperate. Because if a gangbanger sees him cooperating, he'll get whacked. You just give out your card. If they want to help, they'll come to us. That's more passive than my general style. Just, just pace yourself, Eddie. Definitely not something to ignore, but there's divisions of the department devoted to dope callers. Hand it off. Well, they'll get a summons and be sent on their way. It's not a capital crime. Well, the one girl had enough attitude to warrant a conversation with the parent. What about the other girl? Already kicked. The conversation, then it's done. And you work cases in between. Anything on the canvas? Silence. Minervoy and Jones are still out. This one. Loretta Murray, clerk CI in the building. He says she's reliable. Lieutenant. So what'd you get this morning? Uh, a couple of kids booking pot. What else were they doing? That's not enough. Deal away at a construction site. Call in Metaboy and Jones. You sure it don't interfere? Give me a break. Too sweet, big fella. Loretta, you hear anything on those dealers getting whacked today? I might have. Man, you know the term cut to the chase? Eddie, she's here to help us. What have you heard? There's been a turf war the last six weeks. Those two got caught in the middle. Can you steer us to a shooter? There's been so many boys killed lately. It's tough keeping track of who's on top. Could have been anybody. The Pulp, Merrill Street, now the field. If you could give us a name. Well, I wouldn't know. My son, though, he might. The problem is, he's in Rikers, and I don't have the 25 grand to spring him. What did Anthony do now? Anthony's dead. Last year. No, this is my little one, Michael. He's caught up now? With the bloods. Call it for dealing, I'm ashamed to say. Maybe we'll work something out. I appreciate that. But I don't see him rolling too easy on a crip killer. If I was there, it could make a difference. What's your day rate? No rate. I just want my boy out of jail. Come on. There's no ID, but it's a female with the clothes and shoes, some jewelry. Who found her? Yeah, foreman called it in. Peter Kiesel. Oh, I'll take him. Mr. Kiesel? Detective McDowell. Hell of a thing. How'd you find the body? Cleaning out the pipe trench. We were gonna pour concrete today. How long have you been building here? We started six months ago, but we've been shut down for most of it. We're just back on the job. Why'd you shut down? The area got sealed off the day of the World Trade Center attack, so we had to shut down the site. Then the investor bottomed out. Were you about to pour concrete four months ago? Yeah. Good morning. Hey, Connie. Uh, they're gonna need your phone number. Got a credit card receipt tucked into a coat pocket. Two names, Denise Carter, Philip Carter. Well, whoever dumped him, I thought the spot was gonna be filled in. We'll run the employees. You mind taking the canvas? I'll head to the squad and get Philip Connor in. Yeah, yeah, we'll see you back at the squad. Michael. Been a while. Officer Clark. Uh, Detective. Detective Sipwitz. Gibson. Man, what you doing here? Don't disrespect me. There's a double homicide in your building this morning. Your mom thinks that you can help us with who did it. I ain't no snitch. We don't want a snitch. We want a guy sensible enough to trade five years of his life for a murderer. 
You saying walk out of here? For the guy who killed Desmond Browning and Shawan Campbell. He knows. I ain't no damn snitch. Oh, you, you a hard-ass gangbanger? That it? Look, I still don't get what you're doing here. Looking to keep you alive. Yeah, well, I can take care of myself. Like your brother? He didn't have no ambition. Don't speak ill of him. Hey, all I'm saying is he didn't have the friends that I got. Dope dealers. Brothers with Benzes. Kings of the neighborhood. You don't think there's a world outside the neighborhood? What'd I say to you about getting out the projects and going to North Carolina? Work with us, we'll help get you out of town. It's a smart thing to do, kid. It don't make you a rat. Who you calling a rat? He's not calling anybody a rat. Nobody's a rat. That word never came into this room. Don't pick my heart, baby. And we'll get out tomorrow. I don't know for sure who did Desmond and Shawan. But safe bets, Carter Freeman. Why? Two weeks ago, he did a cousin in the building called Lil Ray for dealing on his ground. Desmond and Shawan were doing the same. So I get my walk? If you're jerking us around, we'll get you back in quicker than we got you out. That's my boy. TNT at 8. Watch back to the... Annual Screen Actors Guild Awards, February 5th and 8th on TNT. Thanks so long. Do I get to know what's going on now? You're getting a summons for the grass, and I'm going to call your folks to come pick you up. Oh, I'm dead. I am so dead. These things have consequences, Jennifer. That's something you need to learn. It's pretty clear already. I just failed my bio lab, and I'm about to get a zero on my Spanish test. You expected to pass stoned? I would have done better than a zero. Tell me why you're getting stoned before school. I don't know. Are things all right at home? Do you get along with your parents? Are you some kind of uh, social worker? I'm a detective. So you deal with what? Rape, robbery, murder? All those. So do the people who commit those crimes just take the day off? Is that why you have time to hassle me? I want a sense of why a smart girl like you would want to cook her brain. Or are you revving up for some big anti-drug speech? Oh, your parents ever give you one? Why are you so fascinated with my parents? Did they give you the idea it's okay to get high? Do you get some extra cop credit for busting my parents too? Or are you just nosy? You got some attitude. Well, where is the summons? Where are my parents? What is going on here? <sighs> Write down your mom's number. I'll have her come get you. Get him to the pokey. This way, tough guy. You got a minute? Uh, I gotta get her to the crib. Lisa, do me a favor. Get her up to the crib. I'll be right up. That's your pot collar? Mm-hmm. What are you doing, Connie? What do you mean? Don't treat me like an idiot. That's your daughter. I just want to talk to her mom, and then she's out of here. You lost your mind. Don't insult me. Send her home. I say there's been a mistake. Get her out now. After I talk to her mother. I'm telling you, there's a safe dangling over your head. And you don't know everything, Andy. I can handle this. Before we start here, did I not come in like a gentleman? But you knew you'd take a collar if you didn't. Still, I was respectful, which don't deserve him breathing stink in my face. He was about to give you some room. Where were you this morning? Tell me why, I'll tell you where I was. You know Desmond Browning, Schwan Campbell, Cripps, go by Scarface, Big Baller? Nope. Sure you do. And word is that they've been doing business where they shouldn't have. Better have a talk with them. Oh, somebody already beat you to it. They were shot this morning. Where were you? With a young lady. Her name and number. Well, you see, she got an old man, so that ain't gonna work. Neither is lying to us. Fellas, I'm just a businessman who's going to sit in a courtroom while a white-haired senior citizen points down from the stand and says, that's him, Judge, Carter Freeman. I watched him kill them two boys. Tenants are tired of your game, man. Tired of you. Time to help yourself. The walls are closing, but that don't mean you don't have options. Such as? Maybe this wasn't about dope turf. Maybe they threatened you and you defended yourself. Need to think about it? You don't get to, Potter. How about the truth now? It's all right, Eddie. We're supposed to wait around here while he cooks up some load of crap? I don't think so. Get him out of my face. That's not an option. Back, Eddie. Excuse me, am I arrested? We're going to give you a minute. I'm arrested or I'm walking. Carter, we're trying to help you out. And I got a business to give back to. Which I will shut down in the next hour. Your dealers, your customers, they'll all be coming in until somebody deals you up. 
and then nobody hears your side of it. We through? See you on the street. Will you be great? The next time I say a guy needs time, you give him time. I was stirring things up to go in for the kill. In my interview, you keep your mouth shut. Your will, pal. Let's go. It's a liability in the room. <laughs> Spread them. All right, how we doing? Everybody having fun? Dad, at the beach. Well, get used to it. The shop's closed till somebody deals up Carter Freeman. Good luck, money. Good luck you eating anything but dog food until he's locked up. Is everybody hearing me? Report of a person shot in the second floor hallway of a housing development at 2504 Avenue D. Units to respond. It's around the corner. 15 squad responding, okay? All right, you guys, uh, why don't you just hang out? We'll be right back. Michael, what happened? I don't know. What happened? I was inside and I heard a shot. She gonna be okay? 15 squad to Central. Put a rush on the bus and that person shot on Avenue D. 10 squad. All right, get this guy back to the house. Any word from Christine Beck, the girl's mom? Nothing. You're not gonna believe this. I just got off with missing persons. Denise Connor was reported missing September 11th, and she's on a list of unrecovered from the World Trade Center attack. That was the ME's office. The cause of death was blunt head trauma. Where's her husband? Uh, he called to say he just made it to the Midtown Tunnel. Is there a shot this guy killed his wife and then stumbled onto the perfect alibi for why she was missing? Oh, no, but she definitely didn't die in those buildings. I'm looking for Detective McDowell. My name is Christine Beck. Connie McDowell, uh, come this way. I would have gotten here sooner, but it's hell driving into the city. Did you try the train? Jennifer's upstairs. Before I get her, uh, I'd like to know if you had any idea she was smoking pot before school. It's a complete shock. Well, how involved in her life are you? We know her friends, her teachers. Someone's there whenever she gets home. Parent or maid? Either or. What kind of work do you and your husband do? I design wedding invitations and uh, Richard's in advertising. You look well off. We've been fortunate. You have a strong relationship? Yes. What does this have to do with Jennifer smoking pot? Uh, getting high before school is either rebellion or a cry for help. I'm trying to figure out which one applies. Well, I'd wager on rebellion. She is a teenager. When I brought her in, she protested that it was just weed. Where did she get that attitude? I did my share of experimentation in college, and so did Richard. <laughs> Didn't you? We didn't want to be hypocrites to Jennifer, so we have been open about it. Maybe she misconstrued. I'd say so. That doesn't mean that drugs are permitted. When you get her home, will she be punished? We'll talk with her. Just a talk? No real punishment. What if you lashes satisfy you? Do you think this is funny? I think these questions are a little invasive. If you appreciated what a miracle you have in that girl, you wouldn't bristle as someone trying to help. Who the hell are you to tell me I don't appreciate my daughter? I'm sure you do. You have some nerve saying that to me. She's a kid. She just made a mistake. Well, you just don't want to see it lead to something worse down the line. Is she free to go, or do I need her attorney? Power, money, info. I'll see you, Mr. Hunter. You said this had something to do with my wife. Familiar? Third anniversary gift. Was her body recovered? We found her remains this morning, but not at the World Trade Center. What? She'd been buried at a construction site. Looks like she was murdered around the time of the World Trade Center attack. What? Well, I don't think you found my wife. Um, you made a mistake. The bracelet was on her wrist and the medical examiner checked her dental records. It's your wife. What? What the hell? What the hell's going on here? Please sit down, Mr. Sit down, sir. Where, where was she found? In Stanton Street. How did she die? Blunt force trauma to the head. Oh, God. This is impossible. My wife! was in the building. I watched the building come down. She wasn't in it. Oh, my God. We buried her. We buried an urn. We understand, Mr. Connor. But if you could, please, try and help us out. I, I don't know what to tell you. Can you think of anyone who might have done this? No. 
No. Was she having trouble with anyone? Maybe someone at work? They all died in the building. Her whole company. When was the last time you saw your wife? Uh, the, the night before. Uh, a girlfriend from work was having a birthday party in the city. She was staying overnight with her. Did the friend die in the attack? Tell us about your day before it happened. I was with my daughter, who had the flu. And, um... Uh, I got a call from my wife's best friend, Deborah, who told me about the buildings, and, um... She came over, and we just sat and watched the news and waited by the phone. We have to ask you a tough question, Mr. Connor. I hope you won't be offended. Well, were you faithful to your wife? Of course I was. And your wife? Is there a possibility that she wasn't with her girlfriend, like she said? No. No. And don't you dare try to throw dirt on her memory. We're only asking if there was any reason for animosity between you. Are you implying that I had something to do with this? I should sue you for harassment. So if the answer's no, it's no. You're both insane. I spent four months tearing my hair out in mourning and trying to help my daughter. And you think that that was a cover-up? You're insane. God, I loved my wife. And she loved me. <laughs> I don't know why I'm here. I don't know who killed her. Who was in your apartment just before your mom was killed? Your neighbors heard you and somebody else arguing, then a minute later there was a gunshot. Who were you with? I'll just fill in the blanks. Carter Freeman. I don't know what you're talking about. Did he ask if him being hauled in by police and you being let out of jail were related? I haven't seen him. Did Freeman say that you'd keep your standing in the building if you said who gave him up? Give you Ben's, maybe? Crown you king of the neighborhood? It could be worse. Get your head out of your ass. He'll snow you till things cool down, and then he'll just blow your head off, too. There was an argument in your apartment, then a minute later she's shot. That's easy math, Michael. Did you see him do it? No. Hold him down. Eddie. He saw it, and he's going to admit it. But take your best shot. I'm in the middle of something. No, come on. What the hell happened to you? Your brother was never going to make it, but your mom used to brag about how you used to do in school. How you used to love computers. Now look at you. I'm doing fine. And if you think that, you're as dead as your brother. Michael, if you want to start fresh, I can help you get out of town. And you might have a chance. Hey, that's what your mom wanted. Freeman was in our apartment. He had a gun to my head asking if I ratted him out. Did you tell him it was your mom? He figured it out on account of her always having a big mouth. And then he left. Then I heard the shot. I mean, like, I, I was going to warn him. Did you see it? Does he still have the gun? He lost it too much to ditch. A lot of bodies on it. Now it's too. Why do you think you put me out in the room like a dog? You'd rather have gotten to a shouting match in front of that kid? I wasn't going to beat him. If he was ready to talk, I was nudging him over. Nudging him with a jackhammer, which you've been doing all day. I understand how to follow the tide in the room, but why not once follow my lead, see where it goes? Because you're trying so hard, you blow it every time. I'm trying hard to solve a homicide? Pardon me. To get your grade bump. It's stinking up everything you do. I know you got cancer, Eddie. You belong on medical leave, not here. Cynthia told you? What's the difference? The general knowledge. No. You, listen now. I am as competent on my job now as I ever was. But because you and me have a personality conflict, does not mean that I am not fit for duty. You don't want to work together? I'm happy to fly solo. But keep your mouth shut about this condition. Miss Abrams, uh, we asked you to come in on account of a conversation we had with uh, Philip Connor today. Denise's remains were found. Oh, that's good news. That'll bring some peace to Philip. He could use it. The problem is the, uh, the circumstances of her being found weren't what everyone expected. It seems Denise was the victim of foul play. What are you talking about? She wasn't found in the World Trade Center debris unless someone murdered her. Oh, my God. But are you sure it's her? Unfortunately, we are. Now, Philip said you and Denise were best friends. Were you and Philip also close? 
we were all good friends. Is there any possibility that Philip was seeing someone besides Denise? No way. She was his life. But you and Philip, you were just friends. It didn't go beyond that. Are you asking me if we had an affair? She was my best friend. How could you drop this in my lap and then accuse me of having an affair with her husband? We understand you were with Philip the morning of the attack. His wife was missing, who was my friend. I can't believe this. Can you think of anybody who might have wanted to do her harm? No. She wasn't seeing anyone outside of Philip. Oh, my God. What's his name? James Franklin. She met him at the gym. Philip had no knowledge she was having an affair. He suspected. A month ago, he asked me if I thought she was seeing someone. There was no reason to tell him. Was the affair serious? I begged her to think of Philip and Franny. She said she was in love. Is there anything else you can tell us about him? He has an apartment in the village where they'd meet. He owns a construction business. This is awful. This is so awful. We're going to need to know how to get in touch with him. TNT and roll eight something. Miss Carter Freeman? This is Special Agent Mike Francis, FBI. Where do you think we got your number, sir? We're the FBI. Now, please listen. It's my duty to tell you that uh, we picked up a threat on your life over one of our intercepts. No, we're not only ready to divulge. She's looking to do you harm, only that it could be soon. Thanks for your time. I'll give him something to think about. Hey, Baldwin. We're going to pick up a dealer with you some diversity. Yes, you could. I'll change. We're going to go grab up Freeman. I'll catch up on paperwork. I'm looking for Detective McDowell. Right here. I'm Richard Beck. You arrested my daughter this morning? Uh, why don't we get a cup of coffee? Right here. Listen, I don't need any coffee. I just came here to tell you to stay away from my daughter. Maybe word hasn't gotten to Brooklyn Heights, but uh, smoking grass is illegal. I know who you are. When you called the adoption agency five years ago about Jennifer, they contacted me to approve and I got your background. I know your name. What were you thinking? I just wanted to see if she was okay. By dragging her down to a police station and terrifying her. Did you tell her who I was? No. No, and we won't, as long as you stay away. But if you come near her again, we will get a restraining order. Now, are we clear? Yes. You got Freeman, you didn't last 30 seconds. Yeah, fancy rod here. How many bodies you got on that gun? Four, six? I want my lawyer. Yeah. You're gonna need him. I'm James Franklin. I got a call to come in about some car accident. This way, Mr. Franklin. Well, I can save us some time. I wasn't in a car accident. I don't even drive. I got a driver. Well, we'll have to straighten this out. Straight ahead. Mr. Franklin, it wasn't any car accident. We need to ask you some questions on another matter. You lied to me? Did you know there was a body found in one of your construction sites this morning? Well, this is about the corpse. My guys told me about that. I should have just said so. Any idea how it got there? No clue. Do you recall the name Denise Connor? Connor? No. Where were you the night of September 10th, the night before the World Trade Center attack? Oh, Long Island. Do you have an apartment on 9th Street near 2nd Avenue? I got rid of it three months ago. What'd you have it for? I work late in the city a lot. Crash pad. I got sick of it. Anyone else have access to it? On the night of the 10th, there was an eight-minute cell phone call from Denise Connor to that apartment. Are you sure you weren't there? Oh, maybe I was. I don't recall any phone call. But do you recall Denise Connor? You met at the gym. <laughs> I know a lot of women at the gym. Maybe she called about the yoga schedule. Cut the crap, Mr. Franklin. You were having an affair. The question now is, do you spend five years in jail or the rest of your life? I don't know what you're talking about. A married man whose mistress is threatening to expose their relationship is liable to lose his temper. Any judge would sympathize. If we drag in how the World Trade Center tragedy covered it up, 
You're sunk. You killed Denise and buried her thinking she was about to be a block of concrete. But since the trade centers went down, she got written off as one of the missing. When her family found out the truth, they were devastated. If a judge hears the anguish it caused her husband and daughter, you'll never see freedom again. You work with us, the story stays secret. And regarding Denise Connor, you lost your temper. I want an attorney. You sure about that? Because if this gets out, it's all over the papers. I want my lawyer. There's a testimony of the friend that there was an affair and that the DOA was threatening an ultimatum. But not that she delivered one. Well, she probably did that morning. That was probably the topic of conversation during the eight-minute cell phone call. Did you run Franklin's name by the DOA's husband? We called and he thinks he met him once at a gym. But that was it. Crime scene get anything from Franklin's village apartment? Negative. It's been gutted for renovation. So far, everything you've got is defendable. Any suggestions? Sit on it until you got more evidence. In the meantime, kick him. I'd like to at least let him uh, cool his heels until his lawyer shows, give him time to ponder his sins. You know Don Harrison, ADA Brooklyn Narcotics? For years. He's waiting for you. Counselor. Miss Haywood, it's always a pleasure. Tony Rodriguez. Good to see you, Don. You just in the neighborhood? I thought I could move you a cup of coffee. This way. So? You're healthy? Happy? I hear nothing but good things. You can't complain. Glad to hear it. Yourself? Where it is? There's still crime in Brooklyn. Plenty to go around. You just stop by for coffee? You ever meet my wife? Rita Ortiz? She's on the job. Maybe at a rack. Well, she's got me out scouting squads, you know, she's looking to make a change. Where is she now? OCCB Vice, you know, Pimp Squad. She likes the action, but really she wants to work under someone sharp who knows how to get ahead. I heard you were here. Figured she couldn't do better. Kind words, yeah. <laughs> no, but honestly, you're smart, even. Got a good head on your shoulders, that's what counts. How long has Rita been in Vice? A uh, year and a half. Last place on the job, you get paid to party. <laughs> how are you two doing? No, well, I was here. Vice has a well-earned rep for eating marriages. Well, being honest, you know, it's been tough. Sorry to hear it. We don't see each other much, keep opposite hours. I mean, you should see the outfit she leaves the house in. Oh, I know all about it. Hey, but don't think I wasn't being honest before. What about you as a consideration? Fact is, Don, we're full up. But any change, Reed will be my first call. Do you recall how I got your friend Jimmy Cadlin in the ADA's detective bureau? I'm still in your debt. You said pay it back. Like I said, she's my first call. Thanks, Tony. My best to read her. Mr. Connor, come in. How you doing? I've been walking. We're sorry we got you so upset earlier. We hope you understand why. Oh, I'm sorry I couldn't be more help. Did you guys come across anything that suggested my wife was having an affair? Actually, Mr. Connor, we did. Yeah. She'd been spending a lot of time out of the house. A long time she'd been distant. But I never wanted to admit it, so when she died, I just buried it with her. Did it have anything to do with her being killed? Well, we think the guy was responsible. Is he in custody? He is at the moment, but we can't arrest him yet. But, but soon, right? This is a very frustrating case. We're fairly certain of what happened, but we don't have the evidence to arrest. Is this the guy from the gym? The one you asked me about on the phone? Why? Why, why did he kill her? We're not sure. But you talked to him, didn't you? I mean, what, what did he say? He denied it. How am I supposed to explain to my eight-year-old that, that, that all the sympathy from friends and teachers and strangers all over the country's crap? Because mommy was screwing a man who murdered her, but he can't be put in jail. Is that what I'm supposed to tell her? Don't tell her anything, Mr. Connor. If your wife hadn't died what she did, she would have had work. That's how we're thinking about it. Yeah, and what am I supposed to do with the body? Bury her quietly. Yeah, as far as any benefits, we check with the organizations involved and no one be looking to recover anything. So, um... Aren't you supposed to go home and forget about this, huh? You're never going to forget about this, but you owe it to your daughter to try to move on. You know, I keep saying this is a nightmare, and I'm going to wake up, but I don't. Oh, okay. Get a copy? I'm sick of waiting for Franklin's lawyer. Will someone kick him for me? I'd end up choking him. I'll do it. I've been such a big help all day. You got a minute? Sure. Grab up Freeman. 
flared up, but he had his piece on him. Clark's taking him to ballistics. If he's got the bodies on that gun, we think he does. That's a big collar. I want to give it to Gibson. Come again? Freeman's good for multiple homicides in a project-wide drug ring. That's newsworthy. Ought to be good for a grade bump. For sitting at his desk? He worked the interviews. And bowed out of the takedown? Then for all his years on a job. A lot of guys have his years. What's up? He's got cancer. He won't get treatment because he's worried that his family won't be provided for if he dies. Guess it explains his behavior. Some of it. The rest is just him. I work with the commissioner of narcotics. I'll make a call. And keep this between me and you. you get Franklin kicked. Yeah, uh, the pig came on to me. Oh, he needs a beating. That bastard needs a beating. Yeah, I need a beer. Anyone else? I'm in. Uh, care to join, Connie? Seems like you've had a lot on your mind today. That's nice of you, Greg. I'm, I'm not looking to pry. Uh, just offer a little social interaction. Uh, unless you want to talk. In that, in that case, uh, we got a couple of good ears here. Right, Baldwin? We're going to have a beer if you want to join. Thanks, but uh, I'm going to head home. Well, if you reconsider, you know where to find us. Right. Better boy. We're on our way. Connor jumped Franklin out front. I want his ass arrested. I'm not trying to attack me. He's waiting to ambush me. I want his ass arrested. Quiet down, Mr. Franklin. Yeah, I'm going to kill him. I'm going to kill him just like you killed her. No, you're not, Mr. Connor. Now take it easy. I'm going to kill that bitch. What will that accomplish besides getting you put in jail? Look, I can't just go home. You got to, and you got to forget about this guy. You can't. If you don't, you'll make the biggest mistake of your life. He's right, Mr. Connor. That asshole may have gotten away with murder, but we guarantee you won't. Look, he's our problem now. We'll take care of him. You go home and take care of your family. I'm going to walk you to your car now, all right? Hey, come up. That was a husband of the woman you murdered. I didn't kill anybody. Shut up, or the next punch you take from me. Look at my face. Remember it, because you got me to worry about now. If you take another screw pad, I'll have my eye on it. Step out on your wife again, your bim will know you're a killer. Everywhere you go, I'll know about it. So when you mess up again, and guys like you always do, I'll be there to take you down. You can't do that. File a complaint or get out of my sight. Get into his car. Excuse me, Detective McDowell? What are you doing here? I wanted to talk to you. Uh, there's a coffee shop around the corner. Yeah. You broke a hell of a case today. Great work. Happy to be part of the team. I was just off with one PP. Residents of that project been calling, praising your work. Commissioner's thrilled. Yes, if you got plans Friday. Coming in to probably work my tour. See you coming with your dress uniform. You're getting promoted to first grade. Congratulations. I'm a third grader. Nobody gets bumped two grades. That's happened before. Guess you impressed them. Friday, 8 a.m. What is it, Gibson? We both know I didn't earn this. <clears throat> you deserve it more than anybody who got it driving the mirror around. These false pretenses. You got 28 years on a jab. You should have got it just for falling out of your chair on night watch. I did good work on night watch. Gibson, you earned it. Now quit being a ball buster and take a medical leave. Get yourself well. I'll think about it. You do that. Eddie Gibson, first grade detective. It's got a ring to it. Like a poem. Funny man. Thanks, Andy. I heard my folks fighting about you. So am I supposed to be excited to meet you or pissed off or what? I don't know. Well, that's helpful. Weren't you ever curious about me? Never thought about looking you up. So, uh, wh why'd you come back to the station house? You're my real mom. I couldn't sit at home and do homework. My head's completely messed up. Well, that wasn't my intention. Oh, well, what was it? Why'd you find me? I've wondered about you your whole life. 
I felt guilty about giving you up. I thought if I saw you were healthy and cared for, I, uh, I wouldn't beat myself up as much. So why'd you boss me? I got scared when I saw you acting out like I did when I was your age. But you were a dopehead? I got pregnant. It's about a hundred times worse. They both go toward being 15 and thinking you're bulletproof, which you're not. I learned the hard way. I was trying to spare you the same. Am I going to see you now? Are you going to be around? I don't think so. Why not? It wouldn't be right to your parents. You're my real mother. I want to know you. I have a billion questions. You can't just go away. I never should have found you in the first place. I made a mistake. I can't believe it. You turned me completely upside down. Why did you do this to me? I'm sorry. I hope someday you can forgive me. Gotta get home. I'll get you a cab. I can handle it. Ha, 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 ha. 